It's a great afternoon, and man, the excitement here at Talladega. It is just absolutely electric here. Getting all four of our Stuart Haas racing cars to qualify right next to each other really set the tone for the race. All right, fellas, have a great day. Somebody's got to drink beer in Victory Lane later today. It might as well be us. We learned a lot from the spring race. We didn't handle very well, but we had a lot of speed, and we kind of came here with that mindset. It's as if they're driving like one car. They are riding on rails. They are visibly quicker than the rest of the field. And here come the Fords through the trioval across the line. Kurt Busch will indeed win stage one here at Talladega. Harvick showing the way down that bottom line. Team Stewart Hawk leading at Talladega. Caution flag. Kyle Larson has spun five to go in the stage. Pit road is open. That last caution at the end of stage two gave a lot of those other teams an opportunity to roll down pit road. We couldn't roll down pit road. We needed to score max points. Wrap up stage number two. No one dares step out of line. It's Harvick winning stage two at Talladega. Three, three, three. My teammates restarted quite a bit ahead of me, and we needed to hustle. They begin to stack up three, four wide, leaning on each other. If you make a move too soon, you can put yourself in a bad position, but Eric's really good at restrictor plate races, and he did a good job getting aligned back with our teammates. As it started this afternoon, Kurt Busch at the front of the field, his teammates lined up right behind him. Crash behind you in the four. If you will here, stay fuel. Can you believe that? Two laps to go. Looks like we're good for one green white checker. This place is easy to save fuel unless you're the leader. I just so happen to be the guy that rode around in third or fourth most of that final run and save a ton of fuel. The four was gonna line up third. The plan was he was gonna let me in line and we were gonna run one, two, three, four and win as an organization. All right, Harvick went to pit road. Nice and smooth here. I knew if Harvick was running out of fuel, the plan is over. I'm on my own. Green flag, we're underway. Kurt Busch and Clint Boyer taking the turn one. Half to the 21, here comes a big push. Paul Menard gave me one hell of a push to get me clear of Clint, and I got to second. Kurt Busch slides up right in front of his teammate, Eric Almarola. White flag right here. Crashing behind you, crashing, crashing, crashing. When my spotter said, they're wrecking behind you, I was like, oh man, second. Good points today, but I kept it wide open because I didn't see a yellow light yet, and my spotter was like, keep digging. digging. No caution, no caution, no caution. At that point, I thought, if we get the right push at the right time, we can win this race. I run Kurt down, and I don't know that I was going to beat him, but I was damn sure going to make it exciting. When I pulled up next to him, I heard him start running out of fuel. Clear low, the so 41's out. Yeah, baby. Finally, after a year of horrible luck, Eric Almarola will win. You know, no one ever said that we were going to advance out of the round of 16, so to be able to go to the round of 8 is huge. Thank you. Thank you. Tony Stewart, today, before the race even started, he just said, hey, you keep doing what you're doing, and it will happen, and today was the day.